Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's class, I'll show you how to perform image classification using vision transformers. So guys, in my last class, I have implemented the image classification model using vision transformers and over there, we trained our model from scratch. And we noticed that after training, our model was not giving good results because we were, we were training our model from scratch, okay? And when you train your model from scratch, you need lots of data, okay? And you need to train your model for more epochs. But what we did, we just trained our model for 10 epochs and our data set was very small. So that's why we were not getting good results. And guys, it is always a best practice to use the pre-trained model and then fine tune that model for your custom requirement. So in our today's class, we will do that only. We will use the same data set, okay, the data set which we used in the last class. We'll use that data set and also we will train our model for same number of epochs. We'll train for 10 epochs only. But the only change will be that we will use a pre-trained model and we will modify the classification head of that pre-trained model so that we can work with our custom data set, okay? So for that, we will only make changes in the classification head and then we'll train our model. And after that, we will see what kind of accuracy we get. And then we'll compare the today's model accuracy with the last class accuracy and we'll see that uh, how much difference is there, okay? So let's start. So we are using the same data set and my data set is in this folder, custom data set. Inside that we have two folders, train and test. And we are working on two classes. My, I want to train my image classification model to classify these two classes. Under DAISY we have images of uh, this class and under Dandelion we have images of this class, okay? In the same way, inside test also we have prepared the same folders and we have same kind of images in that. So this is our data set. Now let's see the code and the code is in this Jupyter Notebook. Let's open this. Okay, so here we are. So guys, I'm using, uh, you need to create a separate environment because that's a good way to work on it. And then, uh, uh, um, then you have to install PyTorch, okay? After that, just import all the required modules. And this line simply means if CUDA is available, then use it, otherwise use CPU. And in this cell, we are downloading the pre-trained model. We are using the pre-trained model. We are freezing all the other uh, layers and we are only doing changes in the classification head of that pre-trained model. Okay, so let's see that. So this, when you will execute this code, after that, the weights will be stored. The pre-trained model will get stored. Okay, and then here you can see I'm freezing all the layers. And these are the two classes we have. And after that here, in this variable over here, you can see that we are changing the classification heads and 768, what is this 768? So guys, remember what we were doing in our last class? We have an input image of size 224 into 224, right? And the patch size we used is 16 into 16 and they all are RGB patches, okay? So this in feature is if you multiply 16 into 16 into 3, you get 768, okay? So means when you are flattening the patch, you will get 768, okay? So you have to put this value as per that. So in, in, in my case, we are using the patch size 16. So that's why we have written this 16 into 16 into 3. And output feature. So output while doing classification, what we do? We have those many neurons as per our class name. So we have how many classes? Two classes. So that's why length class name. So output features are two and two device means on CUDA. So I've changed the classification head. We freezed all the other layers like that. Okay. Now let's check the summary. We are checking the summary of this model now uh, with our changes. Okay. When we printed the summary, just see that over here, everything falls, falls. That means all the layers are freezed. The only change is happening in this head. You can see here. So how many outputs? Two. Okay, this is what we changed, right? 
now we have done the changes in the pre-trained model we have changed the classification head now let's load our data set and train the model here we are loading the train this is the path of our training data set this is the path of test data set after that so this remember one thing when you use pre-trained model at that time you have to uh, you know take care that uh, you have to transform your data set in the way the, the pre-trained model which you are using you have to transform the data set your data set in that format only okay so that's what we are doing transforms this transform will transform our data set in the that format okay so our image size is this resized image is this okay and then these are the other things right now we need a data loader so we have a create underscore data loader function this is the same function which we used in our last class okay so what we are doing is in these two lines you just need to give the proper variables where your training data set and test data set is so our training data set is in train directory folder uh, variable and test data set is in this so we have given those parts and class names we are getting like this and this will uh, this will uh, this is a data loader for training data set and this is a data loader for test data set okay now over here we have these three variables in these three variables using the data loader function we are loading the data set and our batch size is 32 you can change it as per your resources okay so now we have our data set now we just need to train we have our data set we loaded our data set we now just need to train it so for that this is the optimizer we are using you can change the learning rate as per your requirement and then here train which model we want to train pre-trained with what uh, what is there in this let's go up and see so you can see this is the pre-trained with model okay this is the model we loaded and then we did uh, changes in the classification head okay so we want to train this model so that's what we are doing okay where is it yeah model then we are loading the training data set loading the test data set providing the optimizer and we want to train for 10 epochs why we are training for 10 epochs because we want to compare the results and in our last class we trained our model from scratch for 10 epochs okay so after training you can see now we have accuracy 94 97 94 like this 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 kind of accuracy and you can see loss also see right now let me open the previous uh, class code where we trained our model okay from scratch let's check see over there you can see that our accuracy is this training accuracy is this and loss is this so we have improved our model a lot okay so you can see now this time we have 94 percent accuracy and in previous code where we trained our model from scratch over there we were getting only 40 percent accuracy so and guys see data set is same we have trained from same number of epochs even uh, the time it took to train our model was also same the only difference is we are using a pre-trained model and then we are fine-tuning that pre-trained model by changing the classification head and we trained our model rest of all rest all the things are same okay and you can see the accuracy and loss curves over here and then when you want to make predictions just provide the image this is our model this is the image we want to test on and the, providing the class names and you can see that we are getting this output 99 percent um, our model is 99 percent sure that this is a daisy flower and let's i have tested on another image then here you can see that with 98 percent uh, confidence our model is saying that this, this picture this flower belongs to dandelion class so you can see that so what we learned today that we should try to use pre-trained model and then you know uh, customize customize that pre-trained model instead of training your model from scratch because when you train your model from scratch for that you need lots of data but in our today's class we are using only 200 images for both 
the classes 200 images for daisy and 200 images for dandelion okay so if you have less number of images in your data set okay then try to use this pre-trained model and then fine tune it because the pre-trained model is already trained on lots of data set and for lots of uh, it was trained on lot, lots of epochs right so it is always a best practice to use pre-trained model okay so guys i have given the link of this code in description section you can try this code and i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching